Hello, welcome back. Now we are here where we left off in the last lecture. Here I'm going to share with you a few shortcuts in the viewports. So you have right mode here, top mode here, left mode here. What if you want left to come here? So you can come on this and press on L. It goes to your left mode. There's no shortcut for right. So you've got to go here and click on right to get it back. All similarly, back also does not have a shortcut. For front you have F. For bottom B, top T. This is what you generally use. So if I want to top to go right here, I can just go and press right this way. But if I wanted to go to left, I can press L and go back to top, it will T. That way you can switch between new ports that way. Now when you come on to let's say perspective view for now, over here, this is in the realistic and edge form. Now we wanted to see it in the wireframe form. Instead of going that here and then going to wireframe, what we can do is just come to this viewport and press F3. It goes to the wireframe mode. Now to come back into the realistic mode, you've got to press F3 again. So we come back into the realistic mode. Now we have these edges showing on this. In the last lecture, I asked you to go here and click on edge faces. A shortcut for that is F4. It goes away, the edges have gone away. F4 again, the edges have come back. F3, F3 back, F4 and F4 back. So you have these two shortcuts here. Now you'll notice if you zoom in a little closer, you have this box kind of a thing. This does not come inside. This is not an edge. It's not related to edges. So this is something separate. This is a box. So you go to press J to remove it if you don't want to. It's basically the outer boundary of your object. If you extrude some part of out of this box, it will uh, follow that contour and show you the end part of your object. So that is pretty helpful. So at present you don't require it, so you can press J on it. So you, that box goes away. You can click on your middle mouse button and turn this way. This is what I had explained on the first lecture before you get started. Now I was doing something like this. So well, for this, you've got to select an object and press on Alt and middle mouse button and then turn this way any way you want. So why middle mouse button is important, I think you'll start getting an idea from here. If you don't select any object and go this way, at times what happens is you go off screen, then you've got to come back. So how do you do that? Let's say I am out of the screen. I have gone somewhere. I don't know where to go. I press on Z. This is a shortcut to get you back to the grid. These are very handy shortcuts. We'll be using them constantly throughout the course. And uh, yeah, you'll, uh, you'll find them helpful as and when you start. Apart from these shortcuts, if you want to create your own shortcut, suppose your middle mouse button doesn't work. What you do is just go to customize. Then you have your customize user interface. A pop-up will show up. In this pop-up, go to mouse. It will show you all your shortcuts for zoom, control, alt, middle mouse button. This is something that I've missed. I'll just show it to you. What you can do is when you zoom, it goes on in steps. And sometimes what happens is if you want to get a little closer, it goes inside the object. That is not what you want, right? So to go slow scroll, just hold control, alt and your middle mouse button and slowly drag your mouse towards the object. Now it's going in some smaller steps. So this is very easy to control if you have a lot of objects, right? So this you can go to customize and customize user interface here. So you can come here, write some shortcut over here and then assign it to this. Right now I have already my middle mouse button works. So I do not require a new shortcut and I'm used to this shortcut. So basically when you start off, if you have something on your own, something, some um, shortcuts on your own that you're used to from other softwares, you can obviously change these to them. So I think this covers the shortcuts for the viewports. Let's now move on to the toolbar in the next lecture. Thank you.